Hi guys, it's your girl Kalera and I'm back again with another exciting video. If you're new here, can you do subscribe because you're never going to regret it. You're going to love, love, love all the content I produce for you here. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm so happy that you have come back to me and I am so appreciative of your support all the time. Thank you so much. All right, so let's get into the business of the day. From the title, you can tell that I am going to be reviewing a Ghanaian brand. So, I mean, did I say Ghanaian brand? I mean, <laughs> fragrance produced by a Ghanaian brand, right? So, I'm very excited about this. So, um, one of my, my goals for this channel and my other social media is to um, project Ghanaian brands as much as possible, right? I get excited when I see Ghanaian brands like doing amazing things, especially when it comes to the beauty world, right? So I decided to make it like a point to um, project these brands as much as possible because having seen done enough PR for the known foreign brands already, I mean, of course, we also need to project our own, right? So, and that is why this video really, really excites me. I I want to be more intentional about that now. And so, yeah, I want to be able to um, project Ghana as much as possible, Ghanaian brands, African brands, to this my small platform. <laughs> I mean, however small it is, I, I want to really do something to support, like, Ghana, right? So, actually, a Ghanaian brand. Um, I usually purchase um, skincare from them so the, I, I really love their their pore refining toner and then their rose water and other products that I'll talk about in another video so I really love love those and recently I found out they had launched a fragrance line and I was so excited like it was really really exciting for me because i'm a fragrance girl if you know me like i love to smell good i like see it is one thing i don't compromise on i love to smell good i love fragrances i mean if i'm trying to win me over just do a fragrance and then you're already there right i'm just joking <laughs> but like yeah i really really love fragrances and so i was really excited about this because you hardly find um, Ghanaian brands or African brands producing fragrances. Well, I don't know about a lot of them. I think I've seen a couple in Nigeria, but I don't know about Ghana. And so this excited me. I feel like this is a stepping stone towards that direction, which is definitely the right one. So, yes, and that's what excited me. And I said I definitely had to review this. So when I discovered the fragrance line, right, um, it was. It was really cool because it was about six to seven fragrances and that's a very great price point and so i'm like why not so the brand is um teva skincare so the brand is teva t-e-i-v-a right i'm going to leave like a handle so below somewhere. um they do skincare they do like yeah like i've said already they do a lot of skincare they started with skincare and now they have progressed into producing fragrance so it's like a, a fragrance mist line and I'm happy to share my opinion oh and it also came with like a very cute mug like <laughs> hold on let me just quickly show you oh, I'm trying to put it in here so this is what it also came with a very small cute mug that I've not like even unraveled yet but let's just do that now seems to be quite a struggle because of my nails but we get it done so this is what I'm working with a very cute mug so I think this was like a complimentary gift from the brand as well Christmas so yeah came with this <laughs> just going to quickly show you guys um, how it came so it came in this box it came in this box right 
um, Sodia about six to seven pieces. I think I'm losing one. Still about seven, right? Or six. I can't remember because I've already unboxed it. I was like doing sort of like an unboxing like video on its own. So I and it had like this whole Christmas wrapping ribbon thing around it. Like it was really a really cute package. So I'm going to start with um this one. So this is um bamboo and white grapefruit if you can see um so it says that it is a complex and refreshing scent um white grapefruit blends with tangerine mimosa petals rainforest bamboo juniper berries and mask and so so i'll say those are the notes of this um, um so i'm just going to lightly spritz um this to see So this smells very plant-based right like you can you can tell from like spraying it at first that it's like a plant-based um smell so i mean if you love the smell of plants this is definitely yours like it's it smells fresh it smells green i don't know how to put it but like you know if it smells a bamboo in its fresh form before then and you like the smell then definitely go for this but i can also really get the tangerine smell like it's also so you can get like plant-based citrusy you know that's how that's what i'm i'm really getting like it's it's a blend like and it, it's such a good blend i don't know if this is like a, a sense i would like to use it it just yeah, smells too plant-based for me i don't know so the I next one quick. would be um this one hold on so the next one would be the japanese cherry blossom um i don't know if it is very clear for you but like this is how it comes this is a packaging um So it's, it's described as a well-rounded blend of pink Japanese cherry blossoms and fragrant mimosa flower petals with warm base notes of, I cannot see this, vanilla, tonka bean and oriental woods. So let's just try this out as well. So it definitely smells like Japanese cherry blossom, but this is very strong. It's very flowery. I mean, definitely for you if you're a flower person and a Japanese cherry blossom, because quite a number of brands have Japanese cherry blossom. And so obviously you know, if you have tried them, how, what to expect when you smell this. So, I mean, as it's definitely a fragrance I'll use. I don't think it's my favorite out of the line yet, but it's definitely one I'll use. Um, so we're going to do the third one. <laughs> and the third one would be the um, strawberry champagne, right? I'm sorry. So strawberry champagne fragrance mist. Um, I'm expecting this to be sweet. Okay, let me not let me not have expectations. Let me just go with the flow. Um because I'm expecting the brand to wow me. Okay. This is a really strong strawberry smell. I don't like how it's wearing down, like okay, it smells sweet, but it just has its after I don't know how to describe but it's as it's wearing down it's smelling like quite artificial I don't know but like it's just giving me that vibe mm. 
let me see how it smells on my body. It's really strong, right? It's really, really strong. Um, hopefully it lasts long. This is like my first impression, so I don't really know the, the um, uh, I mean, how long it lasts on your body, but it's a fragrance mist, so you know, it definitely has to be reapplying. Like, fragrance mists do not last. <laughs> Fragrance mists do not last long as much as um, EDPs or EDT. So it has this after thing after it wears down, but it's it's still a good smell. So I mean, it's there. <laughs> it's a nice strawberry smell, but the after a wears down smell is what I'm not really feeling, but it's still good. So, we are done with three, three more to go. Um, so I'm going to do which one next? So let's do cucumber melon. Let's do cucumber melon. <laughs> so this is cucumber melon. This is the packaging. So it has like the melon, it has cucumber, like the art around it. It's really hard to see the description, but I'm going to still try to read it to you guys. So it says that an aroma of sweet and sour cucumber and a deep green oily <sighs> nota <laughs> with hints of violet with a background of sweet freshly sliced honeydew melon. So that's what this one is. Um, yeah. So we're going to try this out as well. My body is, I'm confused, right? But before we get to the smell of this, let's go back to the um, strawberry. Okay, so I still get a strawberry, but I still get the after thing. I don't know what it is, but probably some of the floral notes they used. I can't tell, but so it says it's base notes okay so it has base notes of vanilla tonka bean and oriental wood so that's probably what i'm getting because after it has settled in it's a bit confusing where the smell is it's fine so we're now going to move on to the cucumber melon so i have tried so, well, the thing about this cucumber melon, I just hope it delivers, right? Because I have tried um, the cucumber melon from Bath and Body Works, right? And I love, love, love Bath and Body Works cucumber melon. Like, it's such a sweet smell. You'd, you'd not even think it is cucumber and melon together, right? Like, it's, it's just such a sweet, 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 sweet smell. And so... Cucumber melon is like one of my favorite smells to have. So I just hope this one delivers as much. Because if it doesn't, I'll be so pained. But let's just get into it. Uh oh. The bar is the loss. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to spray into the cover. But listen, it's gone under my bed. So just come back and do it on my let, let me do it in my palm I think it still works potato potato <laughs> okay it definitely doesn't smell like the cucumber melon I know from Bath and Body Works but it's also a different type of smell Please, I'd like to spread it again because I'm not getting it. It's quite strong, right? And and the strength of, I think, the ethanol is overpowering the smell. So it's hard to get what this one really is. really 
has to get a smell. Don't know why. I'm going to still have to try a few more times because I'm not getting it really. Ethanol is really strong, but it's, uh, it's really hard to get a smell. I'm not too sure about this. This definitely doesn't smell like. Okay, so now I'm guessing it's a very fresh mild smell like it's really mild um and it smells fresh but it's definitely a mild mild cucumber melon it definitely didn't meet the cucumber melon i know um so it didn't meet the standard of the cucumber melon i know but it's still not a bad smell right very mild smell very fresh um yeah so i mean if you like fresh scents and you like like hmm, yeah mild smell definitely go for this one it's i'm not surprised because melon in itself is not such a fresh it's not such a strong scent so i'm not surprised but i had high expectations so it's one of the things that drew me to actually buy the box right because i I love love cucumber melon if you have used cucumber melon for bath and body works like please mention I mean just just comments down below let me know because I mean you understand where I'm coming from if you have right so I definitely loved that and so I was having high expectations and because I really wanted to try this out of my excitement that a Ghanaian brand has also created like a fragrance I was like it's like it was one of the motivating factors for me to get it however i'm i'm definitely going to try it out a few more times this is just like a first impression video so um so <laughs> the next one will be pink sugar see this is like my type of packaging this is like my type of everything is so girly uh, the whole pink thing is just getting to me i love it love 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 the color um but let's try it so i'm going to do this in here okay sweet sweet like really sweet love this It really smells like pink shoot. <laughs> I don't know, but like it's it smells so girly, so feminine. I can get a lot of so it says that this is a fruit blend which begins with sugary sweet notes of cotton candy, mm -hmm. lemon drops, caramel and raspberry jam on a dry down of mask. So, this is definitely a sweet one. Out of the lot I've tried, this is like the sweetest smell out of them. Hmm. Hmm. Right? I can't get over this smell. It's definitely my favorite right now. Until we try the last one. So, that's a pink sugar. This is very feminine very me very i mean sweet this is like a gourmand scent like it's so sweet so if you are into gourmand scents edible scents <laughs> this is yours to take it is yours for the taking right pink sugar save us can care what's happening to the packaging <laughs> the next Thing we are going to go for is the last one which is so it's the last out of the lot so um so the last one which is the french vanilla mist french vanilla fragrance mist i'm a vanilla girl i hope i love this too so okay so this reminds me of warm vanilla sugar 
this is such a strong vanilla scent like it's really strong the vanilla is very very i mean in your face once you smell it at first i wish i could tell you guys how long it lasts on your body but you know with fragrance mists it's fragrance mist and you know you just need to be reapplying throughout your day to stay i mean to keep the smell around you it's not like a perfume perfume eau de toilette or eau de parfum or anything like that please excuse my french <laughs> yeah so um you don't expect it to last too long so i'm not really um for this for the longevity i'm just for it for the smell and how it would make me smell fresh so yeah i love this one as well but it doesn't beat the pink sugar for me french vanilla so it says that it's a fragrance created for those who are total vanilla addicts strong creamy smooth and lingering and they didn't disappoint on this for a fragrance mist i think it's okay hi guys so yeah so those are the six um fragrances i found in my box i'm thinking there are seven but i've lost one i'm not too certain but i mean time will tell so those are the six fragrances um uh, my favorite 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 one was like the pink sugar it's really sweet it's feminine it defines me a lot like it's a scent i would go for any day anytime and then after that i loved the um french vanilla because i'm a vanilla girl like i don't know anything with vanilla and you have me so i mean fragrance is vanilla so <laughs> i definitely loved that as well the other ones um cucumber melon was a bit too mild but now that i'm smelling it again you can definitely get a cucumber by smell it's really really mild and then well the strawberry is not bad as well my least favorite was the bamboo and white grapefruit um i don't know it's just so plants based for me right it's i mean it's not a fragrance that I think I would recommend that for like men it will really smell good on a man like it will make him smell fresh and yeah but for me it just didn't work so um I think Japanese cherry blossom also like it also gave like the regular Japanese cherry blossom vibes and so that was okay yeah uh, but overall I love I love the whole i mean idea i love the whole idea of um a ghanian brand producing fragrance mists i mean how many of them have you found so far so i really like that and um will i purchase this again i can't tell for now i'll have to use them for a while no i mean if you get me compliments why not I mean, and also let me not forget to say it's such a great um, gift set for um, someone, whether it's on their birthday, whether it's during Christmas, whether it's on Valentine's Day. It's definitely, I mean, the packaging is, I mean, I didn't show you the package. I mean, the packaging from home, but it was really dope. Um, another thing I'd like to point out is the semblance to Bath and Body Wear. So unfortunately, I don't have like a Bath and Body Works mist. So, but like it, it really gave me a lot of Bath and Body Works vibes. I wish it was a bit more unique. Like the packaging was a bit more unique, and you know, like just different. Cause if you don't want to do things you're already used to, right? So I just wish it was a bit more unique unique packaging but overall i think the brand is doing well i love love their products i can't wait to give you like a review on your skincare product your skincare products are amazing right so um that's about it for my video i hope you did enjoy it um leave a comment tell me what you think tell me if you want more videos like this tell me tell me if you want more videos like this and i'll be sure to do that for you um Tell me what you think about the Ghanaian brand. Have you tried it yet? Um, 
yeah what are some of your favorite fragrances also if you know about any african brands or Ghanaian brands that are fragrance producing brands too much use of the word brands right you can't blame me um yes can you like tell me all about them not all about them but just mention them in my comment section and i'll be sure to check them out i'm so grateful that you clicked on my video thank you so much for always supporting me and um i'll see you in my next one Thank you.